The Philippine Navy PN, is actively modernizing its fleet to address evolving maritime security challenges. Central to this effort is the enhancement of its naval artillery capabilities. Currently, the PN's primary naval gun is the 76mm Otto Malara, a versatile and widely adopted system. However, there is growing interest in integrating the Bofors 57mm naval automatic gun to augment the fleet's firepower. This article provides an in-depth analysis of both systems, their operational roles, and the strategic implications for the Philippine Navy. The 76mm Otto Malara, developed by the Italian defense company Oto Malara, now part of Leonardo, is a naval autocannon renowned for its reliability and adaptability. It has been a staple in naval fleets worldwide since its introduction in the 1960s. The Philippine Navy employs two primary variants, installed on the Del Pilar-class frigates and Yap-class vessels. Offers a balance between firepower and rate of fire, suitable for various combat scenarios. Equipped on the Jose Rizal-class frigates and slated for the upcoming Miguel Malvar-class guided missile frigates. Features an increased firing rate and enhanced targeting systems, making it effective against fast-moving threats. The 76mm Otto Malara's versatility allows it to perform multiple roles, including surface warfare, anti-aircraft defense, and limited anti-missile operations. Its widespread use underscores its effectiveness in diverse maritime environments. The Bofors 57mm Naval Automatic Gun, produced by the Swedish company Bofors, now part of Bay Systems, is a dual-purpose naval gun system designed in the late 1960s. It has undergone several upgrades, with the MK3 being the latest iteration. This system is noted for its high rate of fire and advanced targeting capabilities. The Bofors 57M's rapid firing capability and advanced fire control systems make it particularly effective against fast attack craft, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and incoming missiles. Its compact size allows for integration on various ship classes, including smaller vessels where space and weight are at a premium. While the 76mm Otto Malara offers a larger caliber, providing greater individual shell impact, the Bofors 57mm compensates with a higher rate of fire delivering a greater volume of ordnance over time. This rapid engagement capability is crucial for countering swarming tactics employed by small, fast-moving threats. Integrating the Bofors 57mm would enhance the PN's ability to address a spectrum of threats, particularly in littoral zones where speed and reaction time are critical. Its high rate of fire and advanced targeting systems would complement the existing 76mm systems, providing layered defense capabilities. Adopting a system used by allied navies, such as the United States and regional partners, would facilitate joint operations and standardize logistics and training processes. This interoperability is vital for collaborative maritime security efforts in the Indo-Pacific region. The Bofors 57M's compact design makes it suitable for smaller vessels, such as patrol boats and fast attack craft, which may not accommodate larger systems like the 76mm. This flexibility allows for a more diverse and adaptable fleet composition. While introducing a new weapon system entails initial costs related to procurement, training, and maintenance infrastructure, the long-term benefits of enhanced capability and operational effectiveness could justify the investment. A thorough cost-benefit analysis would be essential to inform decision-making. The Philippine Navy's consideration of integrating the Bofors 57mm naval automatic gun alongside the existing 76mm Otto Malara systems represents a strategic move to bolster maritime defense capabilities. This combination would provide a balanced mix of firepower, rate of fire, and operational flexibility, enabling the PN to effectively address a wide range of maritime threats. As the regional security landscape continues to evolve, such enhancements are crucial for maintaining sovereignty ensuring maritime security, and contributing to regional stability. The Philippine archipelago, with its extensive coastlines and numerous islands, presents unique operational challenges. The Bofors 57M's rapid rate of fire and ability to engage fast-moving threats make it well-suited for littoral operations, where reaction time and precision are critical. The Bofors 57M's compact design allows it to be installed on smaller vessels, such as patrol boats and fast attack craft. This flexibility enables the Philippine Navy to equip a broader range of platforms with advanced firepower, creating a more versatile fleet. The adoption of the Bofors 57mm would align the Philippine Navy with other regional and global partners, including the United States and ASEAN neighbors.
This interoperability enhances joint training, logistics, and operational coordination in multinational maritime security efforts. While introducing a new weapon system involves initial procurement and integration costs, the long-term operational benefits could outweigh these expenses. The Philippine Navy would need to conduct a thorough cost-benefit analysis to determine the optimal balance between capability enhancements and budgetary constraints. As the Philippine Navy evaluates its options, a dual-track strategy could be advantageous. Retaining and upgrading the 76mm Auto Malara systems ensures continuity and reliability for existing platforms, while introducing the Bofors 57mm on new or smaller vessels could address emerging operational gaps. Additionally, the Navy could explore cooperative procurement arrangements with allied countries to reduce costs and streamline integration. These partnerships could also include technology transfer and joint training initiatives, further strengthening the Navy's capabilities. The ongoing modernization of the Philippine Navy's artillery systems is a crucial step toward enhancing the country's maritime security and regional standing. Both the 76mm Auto Malara and the Bofors 57mm Naval Automatic Gun offer unique advantages, and their complementary capabilities could provide the Navy with a well-rounded arsenal. As regional tensions and maritime challenges continue to grow, investing in advanced weaponry like these systems underscores the Philippines' commitment to safeguarding its sovereignty and contributing to regional stability. By adopting a forward-looking approach, the Philippine Navy can position itself as a credible and capable maritime force in the Indo-Pacific region.